Dallas, yeah. right? I live, I live, you know, north part of Plano, almost in Allen. To get down to Dallas, like yep. we go to Maverick games, right? It's an hour. I'm becoming a curmudgeon when I go to a Mavericks game. I mean, it takes you an hour to get down there because of traffic. It takes you, you know, 30-ish minutes to get back. But it, if you hit the wrong time, it yeah. could be an hour and a half. Right. And I just, it's hard to imagine, like, as as it continues to grow further north, what is that going to look me, like? Let's go full green light on producer Mason's microphone here and ask him because he knows that one of our most popular YouTube videos in the last year is about this topic, what the Metroplex may look like and why people are so attracted to the far north suburbs of DFW. You want to take the reins? Mason, over to you. <laughs> one of our most popular videos uh, has to be how Frisco, Texas is going to be the center. Uh, we actually have also have a pretty popular video about where to buy land near near Dallas, which also is related to the growth up in up in. Uh, and we just came out with a video uh, this past week about buying homes on larger lots, mm -hmm. which is a trend that we're noticing where people are wanting a little bit more space for whatever you need, either a second home or a second structure, or maybe you just want a bigger yard or maybe a little bit more space, more privacy. It's a it's a great video, Todd. <clears throat> did a great job so go check that out on our youtube channel you can find that at tthst.tv yep tthst is short for todd tremonti home selling team you can always just go to todd .com and click on the videos tab however you want to get there there's hundreds of videos there to help you and the video that mason's talking about uh was called how frisco may be the population center of dfw now that's not me saying that that was um actually believe it or not when our church um, mm -hmm. expanded a new campus up in Plano, we, we took advantage of some data from a lot of economic forecasters and, and um, what do you call them, civil engineers who were doing population growth data and trending and said, look, Frisco is where a lot of the population is growing around. To get back to your question, mm -hmm. the point is now people are moving to Sherman or Melissa to be near Frisco. They may not be going into a Mavericks game. They may be going down to a Rough Riders game. They may be going over to the Star to see Cowboys practice facility or events. That massive... Where the, uh, piece, where the PGA's moving. PGA's putting in courses and their headquarters. That, that, that massive retail hub, as well as corporate employment hub, as well as restaurant and recreation environment that is Frisco, is making it you know, exponentially more viable to live 30 or 45 minutes north of Frisco. And when you go into town per se, the big city now is Frisco. Those people may go down to Six Flags or a Cowboys game or a Mavericks game or a Stars game, but those would be the rare treats where the regular big city draw is Frisco. I think it'll be interesting to see, not to just get hung up on the sports side of things here, no, but funny. it will be interesting to see if teams like the Mavs and the Stars that play at the American Airlines Center in downtown Dallas, if they relocate somewhere, you know, 30 minutes further north, 45 minutes further north, so that it is more accessible for I, everybody. I have had that thought. I think based on the age of our major sports venues, that's probably far out. But people at Texas Stadium didn't think the Cowboys were going to go anywhere. Right. And they certainly did. Now, Arlington seems to have an almost monopoly on new sports venues. They've had the last two baseball stadiums. They got uh, football Basketball and hockey are the kind of the sole sports still in Dallas, but with a the, lot of the minor league teams, whether that's hockey or, yeah. or baseball, they are in the Frisco. Exactly. Area. And Soccer, what I was going to say FC is Dallas. with the Cowboys investment at the star, it would not surprise me if 30, you know, what's the yeah. life of a stadium these days. But um, if that ended up happening, if you think about the Dallas Metroplex and if you're, if you're looking at our video right now, there's a giant map of the Metroplex right behind over our shoulders, but Really, where our major professional sports facilities are is the southern edge. Mm -hmm. The population growth has not been south. Now, there are communities to the south. Don't get mad at me, DeSoto, Cedar Hill. I mean, there's there's cool stuff down there all the way down to Waxahachie. But the reality is the density where, where the tens of thousands of people are building and moving and growing and begin building businesses has been north. It's been east and west also, but but dramatically, rapidly to the north. And so at some point, yeah, 
like it's a super long drive for anybody to make it down there. Now I grew up on the far Northern edge of Houston and that's how it was to us. It was like, look, maybe you get to go to one Astros game a year or one Oilers game or something like that. And you just hoofed it 90 minutes to get down there. And it was the rare treat, but Dallas was always smaller than that. And now it's beginning to feel that way where it's like, man, but all this to say, the question was about this WFAA article about um, Sherman and beyond to the north. The cool thing is those are different. Um, they're, they're, they're different communities for all communities are different, right? But you get some you get some topography and things up there. You get to a little bit more rolling country up there as you get a little bit closer to the Oklahoma border and you're starting to, you know, you got Texoma up there and you're starting to move into that region where there is not a huge gap anymore between Dallas and Sherman. And, and I don't think it'll be too terribly long, another generation, you know, 20 years or so, before you basically have full development all the way up to Oklahoma. And there really doesn't feel like there's much of a gap from downtown Dallas to Oklahoma. I think this is this might be, uh, this is more sports related, but I, I just wanted to chime in on that. I think this is my hot take prediction, is I think instead of moving the stadiums, I think there will be an expansion up to the north. So like a Frisco fighters like a team sport i don't know what sport dfw just gets a second what? major yeah. league level sport yeah i yeah. think the growth it only substantiates that and <clears throat> money talks ian money talks what? yeah i think the dallas money, the money's north while, really while we're heavily talking sports here let me just speak at our audience a little bit dallas has to become better fans before that happens well i was gonna say like i grew up <laughs> i grew up in in england right and um middlesbrough is obviously my team yep season starts today up the borough. Um, but we used to travel. We had season tickets. We would travel, you know, 90 minutes, two hours to every single home game. Right. Like, that's what we did. There and then back. Yeah. Right? Whether that was on a Tuesday evening or a Saturday afternoon. Now, producer Mason is rolling his eyes at me. But you, let's, well, as a, I'm, I'm from Houston, so there's bias. I was going to say, <laughs> thankfully, our teams don't have a history of cheating. So. Well, thankfully, it's all out to SMU. But anyway, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> let's ask Ian as, as the as the. Uh, American citizen, but non-native. It grew up in England. Um, the Middlesbrough fan loyalty is a whole nother world. Oh yeah, from Dallas, Texas sports fans. Well, and I would, I would just, I mean, soccer as a whole, right? Over right. There, it's just, it's different. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily picking on that. I'm not saying Houston fans have some other, you know, deeper, more better, you know, more loyal, whatever. But the fact is, I'm a Mavericks season ticket holder and even in the playoffs it's like they don't always fill that thing up this right. year was a weird run with scheduling but it's just a crazy thing we're, so, a, we're a second tier team in england we're at the very north you know almost at the very north point of england and you know it's pretty much a working class city there's, there's not a whole lot of money in middlesbrough and we have one of the best away support of any team in the country because our fans will like that's their priority like wait yeah. i am i'm traveling seven hours if i need to go travel seven hours to go and if i have to fight all their fans i'll do on that a too. tuesday night it's just different 